Hello, Past Dog back with another question and answer. And today's question is a challenging one. Let me read it to you. Should Christians accept a president if he was not elected lawfully? Should Christians accept a president if he was not elected lawfully? Let me give you the quick answer and then let's go through this in detail. My quick answer is actually yes. We as individual Christians do not have the power of the sword and we are clearly commanded in scripture to submit to those who have authority. Let me give you a very tough verse. I've talked about it before on this channel. 1 Peter 2.18 Servants, be submissive to your masters with all respect, not only to those who are good and gentle, but also to all those who are unreasonable. When we read Romans 13, when we read 1 Peter 2, Christians are not supposed to revolt. We are not supposed to get, engage in armed insurrection. We are to submit to authority because authority comes from God, even if we don't like it. Now, I personally have many questions about the 2020 election. In the broad sense, there was definitely shenanigans. If you actually counted every vote that was really uh, given who would have won I'm not sure uh, I wish personally there was more of an investigation but we do not as individual Christians get to determine who the leader is of the nation because if you notice if you say well no I refuse to accept what whatever president wins an election you are making yourself out to be the final authority you are not a magistrate. You do not have the power of the sword. We actually have a system that decides that. And everyone in authority has said Joe Biden is our president. And therefore, we are called to submit to that. Whether we like it or not, we are, to call, we are called to show the president, whoever it may be, honor. There is one exception to this. It's called the doctrine of the lesser magistrate. If there is someone who has authority who questions another magistrate, then we Christians can choose, and we should choose in a lawful, biblical, and logical sense. I mean, let's say several governors challenge a president, and the president challenges the governor, and according to the laws of the land, there's now a debate and both are accusing each other of being unlawful. We have different magistrates now fighting. And now, because we're under both, we have to choose. I know this is a tough teaching for Americans. We don't like this. But we are not the final say, we as individual Christians. We do not have the power of the sword. Now, as an individual Christian in the United States, can you lead a political party? Can you make arguments uh, against uh, someone you view who has been elected unlawfully? Sure, absolutely. Go out and vote, get politically active. Christians are salt and light in the world, absolutely. But we must be careful, lest we think we have the final par power. We do not, God does. And we as individual Christians or even the church do not have the power of the sword. Therefore, we are called to submit to whom God has put in power, whether for good or for punishment. God does raise up evil leaders to show the wickedness and fallen nature of a country. So, let me do the question one last time. Should Christians accept a president if he was not elected lawfully? The answer is yes. The only exception would be if there's a magistrate or someone else in power who overtly questions that person. And then we can ponder and decide which side we must choose. Well, I hope that helps. As always, Christ's grace to you all. Amen.